the invincible lava loon attack strategy it has long been one of the best strategies in clash of clans and it is not going anywhere it will be top of the meta for the longest time and if you want to become a top clash of clans player you're going to need to know this strategy so in this video we will break it down we will show you a few different variations these are all going to be at town hall 10 but very relevant to multiple town hall levels so without further ado let's get into it <laughs> Alrighty guys, diving into the first variation. This one is my favorite. I think it is the best variation or at least the strongest for Lava Loon, but it's also the most difficult to master. Typical. Absolutely typical. But if you can master it, then it's incredibly powerful. It is the Queen Charge. Now, it's important to note that for any of these variations, again, we have a few of them, so make sure to stick around throughout this video. Essentially, you're trying to get some key objectives, a couple of things, and they will be exactly the same depending on which one you choose. You are purely choosing the best kill squad or entry for that specific base. So the kill squad will aim to take out the enemy clan castle troops, the enemy queen, and carve an area of the base. If you can take a multi-inferno, that is also important. Quick side note here, a little bit of an advanced tip. You can see the balloon which came in was to check for black bombs. That is what is known as a coconut loon, and you're trying to protect the healers. If the healers go down, your queen will go down, you will not get as far into the base, and essentially, you might fail the attack. So the kill squad, whilst that queen continues to come forward, she's got the objectives, the lava loon comes in, and we have two multi-inferno towers left now again like i said at the start there it's not that you have to take out every single one of them objectives but clearly you need to be trying to get value so if you have two multi infernos that is horrible for balloons you're going to have to target one of them pretty quickly that's what the slammer did for this one then we had the surgical loons coming in from either angle which drew the main pack around towards that second multi inferno tower guys if you are new to my channel be sure to subscribe for all of my clash of clans videos and turn on the notification bell so you do not miss out as we close up for this one, we are going to swiftly move along to another variation of the Lava Loon. We now move on to more of a traditional kill squad. It really depends on how far you want to get through the base for this one. Obviously, the more troops you commit to a kill squad, you will be wanting to get more value out of that and take less of a roll off the Lava Loon. If you are new to this strategy and you're first trying to learn it, I would probably send a bigger kill squad because a kill squad is a kill squad. You should should know how to do that you can practice the lalo when it doesn't have as pivotal of a role and then you can try and lean back a little bit take a little bit of responsibility off the kill squad and put more into the lava loon but again efficiency is key the next attack will be more of a sui hero but for this one a couple of troops alongside the king created the funnel whilst the queen comes into the base behind the wrecker that is it for the kill squad and the Lalo now starts from the left let's pause for a very brief second remember them objectives I told you about at the start the CC troops are down the enemy queen is down a multi inferno is down so we've taken out three objectives and we've carved out this top area of the base 
where now the Lalo can move around. We do get hit a little bit by the air sweepers. That's something that you can't always avoid, but if you can, you want to try and come behind the sweepers. Again, a lot of this will be common sense for a lot of you. The haste spells used very early on, and as the balloons clump, you've then got to have a plan for splash damage, which here we have a heal spell and then a haste. Beautifully done. All of the attacks in this video are by crunch time in our CWL matchup against King Jeffrey. What a weekend it was for crunch time. Absolutely amazing stuff. Getting the victory for Town Hall 12 v 12 triples in this war. Beautiful stuff and GG to King Jeffrey. It was a fantastic war all around. If you're interested in joining Crunch Time, be sure to check out my Discord. You can find out all of the information you need for all of the clans I cover. But let's move on to the next Lava Loon strategy. The Tron is going to take it back another step here. And like I said, if you can then bring your kill squad back and back and commit less to it, this is probably the least invasive kill squad you can get. A Sui hero. Now all that means is you are suiciding your heroes. You're going to take out a little bit of value and that's it. That's your kill squad. But in this instance, we take out an air defense an expo an archer tower three point defense but not only that we actually narrow down the base here quite a bit look for the lava loon to then come in again your sui hero you are trying to affect the pathing as best as possible narrow the base so that you can control that lalo now the um, slammer comes in to try and target this little area where we have the splash damage defenses try and at least distract that but the slammer is fantastic at taking that down now remember what we said about the queen she is a major defense that you want to try and take down but again like i said at the start it really is depending on the base it's not like you have to take her down but you need a plan and that is where the skeleton spells come in for this one to wipe her out and while she might get the odd shot onto a balloon as long as you take her down quick enough then that is job done. Again, we've kind of missed the Lalo portion, but we've got more than enough attacks to show you. Coming in surgically originally with them haste spells, and as the balloons clump up, that is when you then use your heavier spells, your rage spells, your heal spells, which are two spell slots in order to get maximum benefit. And again, towards the back end of the base, if you have a splash damage in that of a wizard tower, you need a plan. You're going to either need a spell for that area or simply a couple of loons to distract it can always work well. Yes, guys, there is another variation, this one being the Electron. A couple of loons will be sent in first here just to test for any black air bombs before the slammer comes in and the idea very similar to the other variations is to take out a section of the base you want to take out the enemy queen and if possible try and get a multi inferno with that if you can get that that is huge value for an Electron. Now, whilst all of these attacks are at Town Hall 10, still very relevant tips to any Town Hall level, but if you head to my homepage, you will see playlists with the different Town Hall levels. You can select your level, Town Hall 9, 10, 11, 12, and watch relevant videos. The idea here being when the Slammer pops out, it will have the Electro Dragon and a Loon, but you clone the Balloon they spread out they take the defenses in an area for the e-drag to just zap that queen down to the ground and look at this alongside the heroes we've taken out this entire area now we have the pathing for the lalo so again look at the deployment we have lava hounds from either angle towards the different air defense with the loons being deployed around the back of that now normally you will go for three to four loons 
wins per defense, but it really depends on the defense and where they will move to next. You really have to try and see how thick of an area the defenses are, but generally speaking, three to four to each defense, and you should be good, because ideally, you want to try and one-shot a defense before you then move on. Try and get surgical deployment at first and as best as you can around the base, but the idea is that you want them to kind of come together in the middle of the base, and that's where with the best will in the world, your balloons will clump and then be vulnerable to splash damage. Some defenders might play into this, have red air bombs right next to a wizard tower, so you're going to try and have to have a heal spell, a haste, them loons in order to distract, but let's move on to another attack. So whilst the Electron is an incredibly powerful attack, it can be very base specific. It does require the sweepers to be in a certain position in order to get the blimp or the slammer in towards an area of the base where the queen is. You've got to be able to get that value. The queen charge technique and the regular kill squad technique they are a lot more versatile, so we're going to show you one more attack of each of them. Again, for the Queen Charge, a big thing here is the Funnel. Making sure a lot of the time you'll use your King on one side, Baby Dragon, maybe some of the troops on the other, but essentially you need your Queen into the base. At the end of this video, I will link a video which showcases how to use your Archer Queen. Breaks this down specifically, that will be linked at the end, but again, look at the value value we get here. We are taking out the enemy queen, we're taking out the CC, she's going to step up and get this multi, but not only that, we've created pathing, again it's defences you need to think about here, we've essentially taken out this area of the base. This is null and void now, the Lalo is only concentrating on this area of the base, that is what you want from your kill squad. So the queen, if you can keep her alive, Perfect, keep her alive, but she might go down. As long as you get the value, it is still okay. From this point, we have this kind of channel of defenses, which we're going to sweep the Lalo down over. The Slammer works incredibly well. It's very tanky, can kind of work by itself. It's not as reliant on the Hounds as the Balloons are. So that kind of takes out this section, whereas the main pack of Loons come through the middle. And whilst they just about get it done, that Loon at the top crashing to the ground on top of the X, Ball. They do get it done, and the slammer comes to the end of the raid here, being the MVP. And I wanted to use this to highlight to you how the siege machines can be incorporated. You've seen the wall wrecker, you've seen the stone slammer. The blimp can be used in terms of the electron, and look at what is swagged on this attack haste spells, queen ability, balloons. Doesn't get much better than that, guys. Let's move on to another one. We now have Shim Slady getting the three stars with the Lava Loon attack strategy. I wanted to bring your attention to this one because, again, it's the Sui Hero method, and this is as minimal of a kill squad as you can use. The entire attack is the Lava Loon portion. So if you can do this variation, you are a good Lava Loon attacker. What you're trying to do is take out them point defense. So we take out an air defense. We take out a wizard tower. Again, wizard towers deadly to the loons when they clump up. An archer tower. We even get Teslas on the side here. But most importantly, we get this pathing created. We take out the defenses whereby the lava loon doesn't need to go to that area. Do not bother taking out cannons or mortars, ground-based defenses. That is not going to affect your lava loon. Maximize on the point defense and pathing. Again, if you do happen to lure the CC with this, depends on what it is, you can just pull it to the side of the base as we do here with an archer, just in case your minions then get locked onto the troops and it can ends up causing a bit of bother. But look at the wide spread of the Lava Loon. It doesn't get much crazier than this, guys. But again, this is what you want, that big wide spread and pull into the center. Look at the haste spells as we take out each and every area. They pull in together and look at the pathing there. We now have a huge balloon parade coming straight through the center of the base. Wow. 
that is what we're talking about. So his spells on the perimeter with the spread of balloons, they will clump together. Do not be too hasty with your spells either. I really wanted to highlight this for this final attack. Look at the amount of defenses left. One pack of loons, it's not looking good, but we've got a heal spell. We have a haste spell. We have a freeze spell all in the bag helps us to get the three stars and that was all because of patience make sure you're not just putting the spells in to blast the balloons forward when they are tanked by the lava hounds again this strategy takes an incredible amount of skill friendly challenge start with a bigger kill squad and work your way down to this more minimalistic approach and i really hope that these tips have helped you out if you do want to see that video really focusing in on the queen i'd highly recommend it if you're trying to get into the queen charge attacks the video is linked on your screen right now be sure to leave a like for this one and show crunch time some love down in the comments but until next time guys peace out